certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Monday morning. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your Monday morning update. Now for today, we do have a dry day, just expecting partly a mostly cloudy skies and also staying cold temperatures into the middle to upper 30s like we saw on Sunday afternoon. But what we are tracking for this week and we want to first alert you to this is that potential for some widespread snowfall on Tuesday. One of the first widespread snowfalls of the season, but we'll say widespread uh, just because we are expecting some initial melting to that snow. So the big question tomorrow is how much of that actually actually sticks to the ground, but when you check the radar tomorrow afternoon, certainly should see some snow showers starting to overspread the area quite a bit. And even through the rest of this week, we are expecting more of a daily chance for some snow showers. It will turn more scattered by the end of the week, more lake effect. So at that point, a little more hit or miss and even colder by the end of this week too. But here we are tonight. We are expecting a uh, lake effect snow band to pick up over Lake Huron. That will just graze the northern tip of the thumb, but also move into Alcona, Iosco and Ogama counties through the middle of the overnight and even into early Tuesday. Tuesday morning, so that Tuesday morning drive north of the Saginaw Bay may have a few slick spots and any untreated or especially any back roads, any dirt roads, but the rest of the area is still dry Tuesday morning. This is by noon on Tuesday. Notice that snowfall starting to move in from the south that continues through the middle of the afternoon tomorrow and into the evening. Really just expecting wet roadways tomorrow afternoon with temperatures just above freezing. So that afternoon bus stop uh, fairly quiet, at least on the roadways, just wet, but it's once the sun goes down and we head into Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning. Notice how these snow showers still linger. I think by Wednesday morning we could have some impacts on our roadways just with those temperatures falling back down near that freezing point. But all the way through Tuesday evening, I would expect to see around an inch of snow in general. I think just on grassy or elevated surfaces. Again, not really much on the roadways, at least through the daytime on Tuesday. Our key factors here again, some warmer pavement and some initial melting. And if you're north of the Saginaw Bay with that lake effect enhancement there, might pick up an isolated two inches or so. Again, that's all the way through Tuesday evening and Wednesday morning. I would expect some additional totals on top of that. But again, most of this just on grassy and elevated surfaces. But there's your high temperatures for today, right around 37 to 38. The day planner for Midland just shows the partly and mostly cloudy skies, 36 by noon today, and then right up to around 37 to 38 for the afternoon. And your seven day forecast has more 30s the rest of the week, only upper 20s actually, and lower 30s by the end of this week, and more of those scattered snow shower chances continuing all the way through Saturday. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.